Oh, hello there. Um, today we're going to look at something interesting. And uh, it's in this bag, plus we have something else. But first, let me get myself situated here. So let's somehow <laughs> share this link. Uh, I'm going to point you in the direction of this bag while I set this up here. So you don't have to see all this stuff. Hello, Josh. Oh, people join very quickly. Um, we're going to be opening this bag in a second. And uh, what I just want to do, well, maybe I could do this on my phone. Maybe I don't need to bore you all with doing this this second. But anyway, let's just get things situated a little bit. <laughs> yes, I hope it. I hope it's as fun as as it sounds. Um, I'm just copying this link here. Share. I just have to tweet this out and such. Always have to do this live. Let's see. Okay, just pushing that there now and there we go okay cool so uh what we have here is this lovely bag well of course there's something inside of the bag so let's see so uh, what's inside of this bag? Well, let's open it right up. So I was at a flea market today and I went last weekend as well. And I actually found some pretty cool stuff. Um, I'll get to some stuff after we open the bag. There's some other Apple related stuff we'll get into, but first the bag. So let's open this up and you'll get an idea of what this is. Sorry for like the tunnel vision here. Let me try and move this window around so it's not as in your face huh there we go cool all right okay so we have a laptop oh i'm gonna take that off to the side here and we have more so let's look inside this bag so uh we have discs so I'm going to take them, some things out, then we'll look through what it is. Uh, there is a power cord. I already took the power cord out. And we're going to take this pile of documentation out. And whatever else goodies are inside of here. Okay, we can put the bag to the side now. Uh, sorry, guys, just looking at the... <laughs> <laughs> I knew someone was going to say that. Yes, it is quite late. But um, as Greg pointed out, it's uh, only nine o'clock where he is. So I assume it's not late for everybody. And if it is late for you, well, I hope you don't have work tomorrow. And I hope you have a weekend or something where you could enjoy spending a little time with me. Um <laughs> Yeah, that Mac Mini is a PowerPC, 1.5 gigahertz, the fastest PowerPC Mac Mini ever made. And there goes my furnace, so uh, the air conditioning is on. Hopefully that's not too loud for you guys. But uh, anyway, let's get to this stuff. So let me situate the camera a little bit better because I want to be uh, showing you guys stuff. Okay, so uh, this is a laptop. It's obviously not a Mac laptop. It's a PC laptop. I know Jay's going to vomit. Um, but the reason why I'm doing this live stream here is I turned it on and there was something funny and I, I want to share that with you. But I also want to take a look at this um, because it's in beautiful condition. You can't really tell um, until I bring it closer. There is not a scratch on this thing. I mean... It has all the little doors, the plastic bits. It's a little dusty. Um, it was at a flea market after all. But this thing is in incredible condition. Um, yeah, so we'll be taking a look at that in a second. It's a PC laptop. Uh, the brand is Austin, A-U-S-T-I-N. Never heard of them. Um, but it came with a few discs here. And uh, 
One says Austin Laptop Startup Disk. And uh, there's a serial number and a product ID probably for Windows. Um, and then there's a 3Com modem driver disk. So, <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, we're going to open it up and turn it on. But um, we have some other goodies here. Um, we have three of these little credit card style uh, PC cards. And so, uh, yeah, this one even says credit card, modem, and Ethernet. So this is a, a modem Ethernet combo. Uh, then we have another modem Ethernet combo. And it uh, looks like this is just an Ethernet. 10-100 upgradable. <laughs> All right, so that's, that's one. So three of them. Um, have you ever seen... I'm sorry, I'm reading the comments. Uh, have you ever seen or used a Siemens phone? No, I have not. Um, okay, so we got those little cards out of the way. Um, here comes the interesting stuff. So um, you can see a rubber band has met its untimely end. Uh, that's what happens when a rubber band is out in the hot, hot weather. It was very hot outside today. Uh, not really temperature-wise, just the, the sun beating on me. Um, but this looks like a complete MS-DOS 6.22 enhanced um, or whatever. I mean, it's one of the discs that enhanced, but I, I don't know, Windows stuff. Um, but this looks like a complete setup here. This is eight discs. Um, well, actually, that's Windows for work groups. So maybe this is like a Windows install? Although this says DOS. So we have one, two, three of DOS. Then it turns into win Windows. So maybe it's DOS to start it up and then Windows the installation. I have no idea. I'm putting them back in the bag. Don't worry, there's some good Mac stuff coming, but I need to tease you a little bit. I can't just jump right into it. Okay, um, next we have Quick Link 2 Fax. <laughs> so this is some type of fax software, and this is still in the shrink wrap, brand new. Um, I like how the sticker says, register and test your modem, install Quick Link 2 now. You're <laughs> getting uh, very demanding. All right, Jay, take care. And uh, yeah, yeah, you do need DOS to run Windows, so it would make sense if half of the installed disks are DOS. Um, yeah, so that's cool. Um, and then we have a bunch of manuals here. And yeah, I, I, this camera is not the best. This is like a wide-angle camera. I don't know where I put the other one. It's somewhere right here. Um, so I'm gonna have to like push things right up to the lens. Um, uh, yeah, so this is this is a, a fax modem card. So this is a guide for using this. 28.8 fax modem card. So that's interesting. Um, but then there's like these weird advertisements for like a, a conference phone. This is like a, a rebate. $400 for a speakerphone, really? Um, <laughs> yes. Why use a modem? Um, this, is there a disc in here? This feels chunky. This is a pamphlet. Um, Sportster PC card by US Robotics. They were a big modem company. This feels like there's a disc in here. I think there is. Let's see if we can find it. Oh, okay, so there's a diagram. Oh, there it is. There's a disc. Oh, that's pretty neat. So we have a PC MCIA installation. Cool, cool. So that shows you a diagram of setting up your machine. We have a registration card. I don't think this belonged here. <laughs> this is Interact. All right, they're a video game company. I love looking at these questions because they're so outdated. Um, let's see some of the good ones here. Which of the following do you have or use? America Online, CompuServe, Prodigy, Microsoft Network, Genie, Direct Internet slash World Wide Web account, email, internet user I'm sorry, Internet Usenet Groups or Netscape. Uh, what systems do you own? IBM PC, Mac, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Nintendo Game Boy, Nintendo Virtual Boy, Nintendo 64, Atari Jaguar, Sega 32X, Sega Genesis, Sega Game Gear, Sega CD, Sega Nomad, Sega Saturn, Sony PlayStation, 3DO. <laughs> I'm guessing this was for something that was not included in here, maybe a gamepad or, or something like that.
You destroyed a one dollar Palm Pilot from nineteen ninety five. Ooh, I don't know why you did that, but yeah, I I, I would regret that too. Uh, warranty provisions for Australia. Okay, we're not in Australia. So for license agreement for Microsoft. Okay. Oh, this looks like a bunch of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Discover the World Wide Web with your Sportster, second edition, U.S. Robotics. Wow, this is oh, this is this is beautiful. This is a thick book too. Jeez, how the web works, how HTML works. So this is basically like Internet for Dummies. Another. another. Norway, Sweden, Russia, Germany, Italy, Greece, Turkey. Okay. Miscellaneous weird and interesting stuff. Here we go. Vegetarian pages. Well, that makes me feel bad. Uh, book wire. The wine page. Okay. A note about formatting. Yes. This is this is like more of like a, a internet <laughs> discovery book than um hotland um than like how to plug in your modem so that's weird <laughs> um oh okay so this computer was austin direct branded and here's the limited warranty um yeah based in austin texas i could not have guessed what the name brand of austin but okay all right, so let's look at the laptop itself. So um, before I plug it in, let's take a look around. So I put the discs over here, nice pile. Um, you were 10 at the time. That's okay. That's, things happen. Um, there's not too many ports or anything on this. Um, okay, so there actually is a little card slot here. Um, let me eject this. It's not the U.S. Robotics one we saw, but this is yet another modem. Uh, oh, 56K. Wait, cellular modem? Huh? Wait, what? What, cellular modem? This is... Uh, there's a phone jack, but how is this cellular? Unless you were to plug in something here, and maybe... Maybe that... Connected to a cell phone? This oh, I had to look this up. This is intriguing. This is very intriguing to me. Huh. Oh, what kind of PDA is on the left on top of the laser disc player? Oh, there's a few. <laughs> there's a few of them here. Let me pan over to the to the right. The paper towel is blocking the amount of crap that's here. There's one, two, three, four Palm Pilots there. Uh, we have some nice ones here. And uh, I'll hopefully be doing an upcoming video. This is a tungsten T, uh, C, as in color. And uh, let me just go through them now because I'll forget. And this is a neat one. This is a tungsten W for wireless. has this little antenna up here. And uh, these two I got locally, to my great surprise. Well, just locally in an antique shop. These are palm... TXs and they are in pretty decent shape. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna be playing around with them. These were very late models. Uh, I had a Palm 3 growing up, and um, it's actually under here. This is a Palm mouse pad. Look at that, a little yellowed, but um, yeah, so I, I always liked Palm stuff. Um, I want to play around with the Palm stuff, especially the new stuff I never got a chance to play with because it was too expensive. So, yeah, that's a little segue to Palm stuff, and we'll look at that after. Um, I'm going to put this card back in. I'll make sure we don't upset this machine here too much. Uh, graffiti I got used to, uh, the Palm writing language. It wasn't perfect, but I got used to it. All right, so um, we have a floppy disk drive here on the right side. Um, this is a battery, but it looks big enough where you could add a CD-ROM maybe. Um, on the right side here, we have three ports. Uh, looks like microphone, audio in, audio out. This is plastic. I'm going to guess maybe there was an option for a built-in modem. Uh, we have our power jack. Um, and here, we have an infrared window for infrared connectivity. 
and beautiful ports. So we have parallel, uh, serial, uh, keyboard, mouse combo port, and VGA. But uh, that's about it. So I'm going to uh, close this little door, which is a nice little sliding thing, actually. And yeah, uh, we'll open this up and turn it on. The Palm Pre. I never got the Palm Pre. I see them pretty cheap, so I'm tempted to. Um, it was a cell phone made by Palm. And uh, yeah, but all right, I'm going to plug this in. We have what looks like sort of an IBM ThinkPad style design with a little nib mouse and two big buttons here. Uh, this is the Intel Pentium, so that tells you its age right away. Um, let's try and move you a bit closer. Sorry, there's a lot of wires on the floor, so it snags on the tripod here. All right, there we go. And let's, let's get you nice and close. You don't need to see the keyboard. You don't need to see the screen. Yeah, I mean, you need to see the screen. All right, so I guess we're going to power this on. Here we go. <clears throat> All right, American Mega Trends, 1995. Whoa, what are we doing? Whoa, that was quick. Austin, the division of IPC Technologies Incorporated. <laughs> All right, Windows 95. We're off to a, a good start here. All right, um, this is not good. <laughs> More hate for me doing it at midnight. Blame Greg. He said it was early on the West Coast, so... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get to the Mac stuff yet. You're going to have to wait and stay up. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm just going to hit any key. I'm, I'm not a Windows expert here. LGR is probably uh, going to be getting headaches watching me do this, but he doesn't watch my videos. That would be cool if he did, but I don't expect him to. <laughs> yeah, I'm just pressing the return key. <laughs> Co-worker of mine once got asked, where's the any key by somebody? And this is years and years ago. And she said, do you have an IBM? And they said, yes. Well, on the IBM, that's a space bar. <laughs> the nicest way of trying to say, yeah, you're an idiot. Just press any key. <laughs> this was five bucks. This was five bucks for uh, all the disks and everything, um, which was really why I was interested in it. Just the disks. I really didn't take a look at the computer. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, yeah, we're just we're just gonna click OK. <laughs> what the heck is that? Oh boy. Yeah, I was just interested because it it looked in such good condition. It came with all the discs and everything. Um, oh, there's a pair of discs missing that I didn't show you. Um, it's it's on the desk here somewhere. Uh, but it's a pair of discs. What? <laughs> okay, this is like going to be playing like weird sounds, I guess. Um, all right. Um, there's a there's a set of driver discs for this, which I'll, I'll be archiving because I'm assuming anybody who has this machine or wants drivers for this monstrosity um, doesn't have the discs anymore. And why did this come up? Uh, cancel. And we have a frog. <laughs> can you guys hear these sounds? I hope you can. <laughs> I really hope you can. <laughs> All right, the contrast is terrible, but this is like a passive matrix screen kind of by the looks of it. You can see there's some terrible ghosting. Um, 3Com card installed in socket one. Okay. Thank you for telling me. I'm aware I put that there. <laughs> you hear them all. Good. There's some there's some more, I'm sure. You can hear probably hear the hard drive too, just chugging along there. Oh boy. Yeah, this thing is uh <laughs> it's not even done starting up yet. 
I think this has eight megabytes of memory. So it it's um I think Windows 95 is pushing its limits. I don't know what the minimum requirements are, but all right, Josh, take care. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, I'm not gonna this stream isn't gonna be too late. I, I say that every single time, and then my streams end up two hours, but I'll try to make it honest and um not honest. Uh, <laughs> the word I was looking for was um, not found. Um, I'll, I'll try and keep it short. That's what I'm trying to say. All right. This is still wiggling here. All right. All right. Um, what is all this down here? Looks like there's maybe an antivirus. Oh, all right. We could we could close you. We don't need you. I'm aware of what fax cards are installed. I just want to open this up real quick, and yeah, a few hours later, <laughs> exactly. Oh, we got the frog back. Uh, <laughs> these sounds are just like random, I guess. Um, disable active monitor. Sure. That do anything? I close this. Are you sure you wish to terminate? Yes. All right. More frogs. What what am I doing that it makes the frogs be froggy? <laughs> yeah. This is I'm trying to I'm going to do a properties on the computer. Maybe you'll tell me the uh the speed two removable drives. I can't be right. Oh, maybe it's the card slots. Let's Let's see how big this drive is. A oh, 500 megs. Not too shabby. For 1995 or 1996, I'm guessing. Oh, that just draws. All right. Um, programs. Startup, accessories, games, system tools, synchronizer. Antivirus audio applications, audio clip library. Maybe that's where the frog is coming from. Uh, phrases. Oh. Uh, urgent. What is this? This is urgent. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. These are kind of weird. Call me about this. <laughs> Call me about this. <laughs> we need your comment. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you do. This is confidential. That's nice. Ooh, lunchtime. It's time for lunch. <laughs> All right, Greg. <laughs> so that frog just seems to do whatever it wants to do. Um, let's see if the frog's in here. Uh, yeah, there's a frog. Froggy. You can not play him on command. So this guy probably has, like, sound set up. Here you go, Greg. Here's for your uh, your dogs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, M16? Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> That's just weird. Well, I guess sound effects were interesting back in the day, so, uh, yeah, alright, so I'm... 
whenever I close something, the frog goes. That's nice. Yeah, so I just wanted to see if this thing actually worked. Uh, it does. Uh, we got some documents here. got some programs. Uh, looks like it's a pretty bare install. We got Office, um, mouse software. I'm not really not going to play too much of this because I have some Mac stuff to show you guys. So um, I'm going to shut this down because I'm sure you'll like to see that. But yeah, this... <laughs> it's time to go. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Let's put the frog on Windows 10. But yeah, I have some Mac stuff to show you. So, uh, but this thing is in pretty darn good condition. I mean, I usually get laptops at flea markets that are beat up and uh, in terrible condition. So, it was very nice to see this in the nice condition it was. Uh, it was in. So I can't stress enough how nice it looks. Now, um, I'm gonna have to pull this back because um, I also got some Macintosh computers and some Apple dealies. So first, let's get to that. So um, here is a first generation iPod Touch. Um, and I got this and an iPod Nano. Um, the iPod Nano is, let's see if I get in camera. Here we go. Uh, it's plugged in, so I'm, I'm not gonna pull it. As you can see, it's, um, it's charging and problem is it's like sort of stuck in recovery mode the charging animation is even going and when i try and turn it on it just says go to support you know go to apple.com slash support or whatever um but the ipod does work so here is the ipod and it's not greg's ipod don't let him think that uh the battery is pretty much toast it was 45 percent a second ago now it's under 15 but yeah this is uh early um iPhone OS before it was even called iOS. I think it's version three. Wow. Yeah. So I had the original iPhone, but uh, that was stolen from me, unfortunately. So I no longer have uh, that. But um, yeah, that's that's interesting. There's there's not too much on here. There's a lot of music. Um, guy has some albums on here. Whoever owned this previously. Um, I think this was a London. Purchase machine, or at least used in London. The time was set to London time. The location was set to London. The weather was set to London. And there's some European spellings in here. So that's going to be my guess of where this originated from. Um, he has a lot of movies on here, or he or she, whoever owned this. Uh, Air Force One with Harrison Ford. Black Hawk Down. Uh, a couple episodes of Friends. The Godfather trilogy. Uh, Independence Day. That's a good one. <laughs> I'm going to get like a YouTube... Uh, strike or whatever from playing a badly compressed version of Independence Day on a an ancient iPod. <laughs> the first gen nanos got recalled because the batteries explode. I'd watch if, if it's not turning on. Um yeah I, I I I know they had a recall. Um it is it's just like doing the uh displaying the call you know go to apple.com slash support or whatever. Um I'm just gonna let it charge for a few minutes. I'll probably end up taking it apart. But anyway, yes, yeah, so this has some movies on it. Um, I didn't connect it to Wi-Fi yet. It's pretty neat. Um, it's in pretty good condition. It's dirty. I had to clean it. Um, it has a screen protector on it, which is the only reason I bought it, to be honest with you. Because usually I see these a lot, and they are scratched to pieces. And um, yeah, so this is really the only reason why I got it. It was in decent shape. Uh, it is a first gen. There is no internal speaker on this except for a simple one. If you listen closely, it does little sounds, uh, and we'll sample them real quick before the battery dies. It does little sounds to like tell you when you unlocked and stuff like that, but you can't play music or games or anything. So here's new mail. Here is sending mail. Here's calendar alerts. Here is lock sounds. And here's keyboard clicks. So those are the sounds on this thing. Uh, no, it has a headphone jack, obviously. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, I'll be careful, Greg. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's that's it. That's um, I got this and the iPod Nano for um, I think it was like thirty dollars or something like that. Um, he wanted twenty five for this and ten for the Nano, and so. I asked if he could do any better, and that's what we agreed upon. But, I mean, it looks nice, and it's pretty 
Um, I think the only one I had previously was not mine, but my family member of mine had uh, the uh, second gen of these. So it had the volume knobs. This does not. So the only button is the wake and the um, home button. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm going to put that aside. Um, all right. So I have a Mac. Let me, let me put the Mac up here. I'm going to move this because it's heavy. Oh, boy. Ah. Look at that. <laughs> ah. That's a that's a beautiful sight, isn't it? This is a Quicksilver, a G4 Quicksilver. And let's see what's inside of this thing, huh? Oh, boy. Let's move the camera a little closer here. Let's look. All right. So this is more up your alley, huh, guys? So we have the hard drive here. That's a 40 gig Max Tour. Um, no zip drive. So just uh, this optical drive here. We have some memory here. It looks like one is 256 and the other. Let's see if there's a label on it. Let's see if we can take that out. The other is uh, also 256, so half a gigabyte of memory in here, not too shabby at all. Usually when I see these machines, they are picked clean, and this one is not. The only reason why I got it is because it had everything inside of it. Um, I believe it's a 733 megahertz model, so nothing too blazing fast. Uh, we have the clock battery here, has not burst. Uh, I will remove that in a little bit. Uh, it also has a SCSI card which is nice. Um, yeah, it is a 733. Good eye, Greg. And um, what video card is this? I really hate that they never really, like, put a label on these video cards as far as the exact model. Uh, I always have to look up the configuration and this and that. Um, I did not try turning these on. Um, I probably will do it right now if you guys want me to. I'll see if these things turn on. Um... Let's look at the specs on the back real quick. So, let me sit down in my chair. All right, so the graphics card has an ADP, ADC port and a VGA port. And we have a SCSI connector. That's a nice SCSI card there. Um, so, yeah, this is a 733 megahertz. Originally came with 128 megs of memory, 40 gig hard drive, CD burner, uh, NV11. NV11. What the heck is NV11? Um, yeah, I'll try not to have a Ken moment here. NV11, uh, interesting. Uh, ultra wide SCSI card, modem, keyboard, oh, gigabit, Ethernet, of course, Mac OS 9 and Mac OS 10. Interesting, I don't usually see those on the sticker. Um, cool. So, um, I'm gonna have to get another monitor up here because, um, the monitor here is DVI only, and the one over here I'm using for the stream. So if I switch that, I'm not going to be able to answer questions or anything. So what I'm going to do is, well, I have this monitor. I also picked this up at the flea market today. Ugh. And it is dirty. It is dusty. But it was free. <laughs> so I can't say no to free. Um... Yeah, I'm guessing it's a GeForce 2 in there. Um, this is a Dell monitor, nothing fancy. Um, but what it does have is this um, weird little stand thing on the back. And this actually held a tiny computer. And uh, actually, what was right next to this in the trash bin was this. The tiny computer that sits behind it. <laughs> and everything was inside of there, too. So... Hard drive, memory, um, yeah. So I, I was looking at the guy's table. He had an iMac G5. He wanted 25 bucks for it, but I didn't need an iMac G5. Um, and he told me, oh, I just threw out this tower and this monitor. It works if you want it. So I went and got it. Um, yeah, it had everything in here. So that's, um, that's why I grabbed it. I mean... 
let's see what's the, what's this uh does it say the capacity of the hard drive well it's a desk star so it's probably gonna die on me um 250 gigs not bad and we got two gigs of ram in there so not a bad little box maybe set up an unreal tournament server something like that <laughs> um windows vista business edition on here so i'm gonna put that on the floor for now but um not bad free always like parts <laughs> you didn't miss much just uh, looking at this tower, Greg, about to turn it on. Um, just getting a VGA cable for this monitor. Of course, if I was Greg, I have that uh, EVI, uh, VGA to uh, ADC or something, right? What would you get, Greg? It was some uh, VGA adapter thing that was pretty cool. Anyway. Stalling for time as I grab a VGA cable from another machine. Okay. Looks like one of the screws, uh, you know, the little nuts there is gone, but Dr. Bot VGA tour. Okay. There you go. Oh, this monitor has a hub on it. That's nice. VGA to ADC. Sweet. Well, actually I like this. Ooh, look at that. Just like Apple's $1,000 stand. <laughs> All right. Um, this thing is dusty as heck, but we'll see if it works. I have not turned this on, so if this doesn't work, well, it won't work. But we can at least try. Get that out of the way. Move that down there. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> That's true. The Apple stand doesn't slide up and down. So this is better. This is better. Oh, well, the iPod Nano uh, just rebooted, and uh, this is what it's doing. So, yeah, it quickly, briefly says contact support. So I'm going to unplug that so it doesn't explode or anything. But, yeah, that's what that's doing. Okay, uh, let's get a power cord quickly here. So we can get this show on the road. I will steal one from this machine here. And I'll need another for the, the power of the system here. All right. Yeah, there's speakers under the monitor. I actually have one of these monitors, but without the speaker and without the stand. So uh, I think the speakers... Yeah, they have a power barrel, um, but I don't see a place to plug it in on the monitor. So maybe there was a separate power cord or some weird crap, but... Anywho, let's plug the monitor in, see if it turns on. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll try a firewire charger later on. That's a good idea, Greg. All right, let's see if this works. Hey, we got a power light. Let's hope it's not cracked. Hey, look at that. Ah, it's got some scratches on it, but not too shabby. All right. What I'd like is I could adjust the angles so you're not getting as much of a glare. Look at that. That is not a bad screen. Okay, so uh, I'm going to plug this in. We did not have a Ken moment here, thankfully. Um, let me get a keyboard and a mouse, and we'll boot it up. All right, so I got a just a white Apple keyboard here, uh, and um, I guess I'll just plug it into the back here. <sighs> this thing is dusty. The guy said he actually had a few of these. Uh, he had uh, two or uh, one or one or two that he actually sold before I found him. Uh, now let me uh, just backtrack a little bit. I went to the flea market. Um, kind of midday today. Um, it was very, very hot. A lot of people were leaving already. So, um, that's kind of the reason why I think I got uh, pretty good deals on this stuff. Um, yeah. So the guy had two of them already. Uh, he had two left when I went there and these were 
I think the deal I made was like $30. So I got two of these machines. This is just one of them uh, for 30 bucks. That's not bad. I mean, I really could not say no to that. I don't need more of these machines, but uh, I needed a power supply. So if that's all I get out of this, I'm happy. Um, but, all right, let's stop yapping. Let's turn this thing on. Uh, yeah, I know, Greg. I knew you were going to say that. As I get very close to the microphone, as I search for the power button, when the machine is not facing me. Oh, fan spinning. Ooh, the speaker's not crap. That's good. Let's see. We get... Let's see if the hard drive works on here. Let's get some image on the monitor here. Come on. There we go. OS 10. <laughs> Sweet. Let's see. So we're at 640 by 480 here. This monitor is really not that bad. I like that it's a VGA and DVI. It allows me to switch through it. But this is the shortest DVI cable I've ever seen. It's attached to the back. It must be like a foot and a half long. <laughs> I, I'm curious to see what's on this hard drive, obviously, because it, it works. Um, the guy said he gets stuff from the recycler, so um, that's how we got this machine. Yeah, exactly. That's probably why they cheaped out on the cable, made it, made it tiny. So this looks like either Panther or Tiger. And I have another one of these monitors that was made for a bigger machine behind it, but it's DVI only and had a weird power supply. I want to get rid of that monitor, actually. I don't, I don't need one now that I have something like this that's a bit more convenient. It actually has a little handle on the stand in the back, so it's actually easy to tote around. All right, so we got our beach ball sitting around here. Come on. This thing probably hasn't been booting up in... I don't know how long. But, um, yeah, there's a uh, pro speaker port on the back of this, so I could plug in the iMac speakers I have. Um, has a built-in modem. <laughs> I could play around with dial-up if I really wanted to. Uh, gigabit Ethernet. Okay. Oh. No. Oh. So I don't get a copyright match. Beautiful intro right there. Uh, sorry I had to mute that. I'm afraid of getting any content matches or anything. But yes, this is a fresh install. Or uh, at least it looks to be that way, unless someone did that Apple setup done trick to it. Uh, wow. So that's cool. Uh, yeah, let's not transfer anything. Let's continue. Uh, let's say I don't connect or something like that. Um, oh boy, uh, Steve, Mac 84, ooh, I hate that you have to type in all this stuff. And the space bar on this keyboard is broken, cool. Um, let's say, um, what's a town that I don't live near? <laughs> um, New Town, <laughs> New Jersey, uh, it's actually a New York area code, but I don't think this would care. Um, yeah, 111, or let's say. Sure. Continue. Yeah, why not? Oh, that's right. Uh, home, whatever. Oh, wait, you could skip this? I didn't know that. But I had to set up my thing, right? I'm not seeing the emojis because my computer's too old, but um, I didn't know you could quit this, so I learned something new. Set the time zone, continue. 
<laughs> thinks it's 2005. It is clearly not. And it <laughs> it doesn't like me typing in time. <laughs> but if you quit it, how does it know your like username and stuff? Or does it just quit that registration bit? Uh, what is that? August? Oh, September. Oh, crap. September 1st. How about that? 12, 56, 56 a.m. Oof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, now, thanks, Greg. <laughs> going to be using that trick from now on. Thank you. As uh, I'm wondering if the uh, other machine has the same deal. All right, here we go. Um, yeah, 733 megahertz, 512 megs of RAM. Let's check on that video card. This is running Tiger. I believe 10.40. Uh, so no updates or anything. Um, probably just installed from the CD. Let's look at graphics. NVIDIA GeForce MX. I'm sorry, NVIDIA GeForce 2 MX. So you were guessing right. 32 megabytes of video memory. Jeez, uh, I remember one of these at the Apple Store. and just drooling all over it. Because I was about to buy a game. I think it was Star Wars Jedi Knight 2. Uh, Jedi Outcast. And... Uh, Oh, I downloaded the demo on that machine, and it just flew. Of course, at home, we had a AGP Mac, uh, but only a, what, a 8 or 16 meg ATI Rage card in it, so that blew it away. It was just phenomenal. Uh, yeah, there's nothing on the hard drive here, so no spelunking or anything that I'm going to do here. Uh, what I'm going to do is shut this down, and I have another one, and we're going to test that out, see if we get the same thing out here. Um... Does it detect the SCSI card? Yes, it does. Adapt Tech SCSI card. Cool. All right, so I'm going to shut this down. I'm glad to see that this works. It's very exciting. And uh, we'll test out the other one quickly. And uh, if I could do that in under 13 minutes, this stream will hopefully be under an hour. <laughs> so let's wait for that to shut down. Yep, I will remember that, Greg. <laughs> Command Q for the next one. <laughs> All right, so let's take this big guy off the desk. Oh, boy. That's heavy. Yeah, imagine carrying these around in the heat at a flea market uh, after you've been walking around in the heat all day. Oh, boy. All right, this one does not have a SCSI card, but it does have a little nut there for the VGA. Uh, ooh, this is 800 megahertz. I thought it was 733. Uh, Power Mac G4, 800 megahertz, 256 megabytes of memory, 40 gig hard drive, CD burner, RV2000. I'm sorry, RV200. 56K modem, gigabit Ethernet. Um, you take a peek inside and make sure this has a hard drive. I think it does. Uh, yes, it does. All right. Well, let's plug in our keyboard with our mouse attached and plug in the power. And let's hope this one works, too. How about that? <laughs> hey, there we go. Yeah, I'm guessing it's an ATI video card. Um... We'll see. Okay, green light on the monitor. That's a good sign. Uh, come on. Boom. There we go. All right, who wants to make the assumption that this also has a fresh install on it? Not that there's anything bad with that. Saves me a lot of time, actually. Um, no goodies to find on it, though. But... Um, Not a bad thing. That started up quick. Holy crap. That was the quickest... That was the, the quickest uh, startup of Tiger I've ever seen. That was nuts. Um, all right. This belonged to somebody named Diane. <laughs> uh, first, last. They got uh, oh, Adobe Photoshop 7. What's in the trash? Let's look at your recovered files. 
uh, just software update stuff. All right, let's look at these specs. Ooh, 512 megabytes of memory, not too shabby. Now, I don't think there's an SSD because I hear the hard drive spinning. But, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, no command queue. <laughs> um, all right, so this has been updated. This is 10.4.10. .10. Uh, let's see that graphics card. I bet you it's an AT, ATI one, like you guys were guessing. Yeah, ATI Radeon 7500, 32 megabytes of video memory. Not too bad at all. Um, let's look at this hard drive. Uh, 40 gig, okay. And a CD burner. Nice. This is a very responsive system. I've always loved these systems. I got iTunes installed, Adobe Illustrator, Adobe Photoshop. Um, iTunes must have maybe just been updated or never used. <laughs> um, applications. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Um, Adobe Illustrator CS, Photoshop 7. Is that it? That's all? That's all? All right. Well, uh, documents. No documents. No movies. No music. No music. No pictures. No pictures. Uh, all right. Well, this is a pretty fresh install. That's not bad either. You could run, uh, I'm sorry, I can't read that. The text is very small. Oh, overclock it to 867 megahertz. Yeah, um, this is not a bad system. This is very responsive. Um, I, I'm just still crazed about how quickly that booted up. Um, wow. We got OS 10 VNC here. Let's put that in the applications folder where it belongs. I, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm, I have to get my stopwatch out here. Um, I'm going to test how fast this thing starts up from a shutdown, not a restart. That's a little bit cheating. Um, I'm gonna do that. Then we'll probably sign off unless you guys have any questions because there's not too much else to look at. But um, let's go to stopwatch here, and I'm going to press it as soon as I push that button. Three, two, one, go. Let's see how long that takes to start up. I'm going to tap the lap button once I see the uh, Apple logo because it, it takes a few seconds to get just to that. Okay, so 20 seconds until the Apple logo comes up. All right, we're 10 seconds past that. 20 seconds. Wow. Uh, 21 seconds from the Apple logo. I'm sorry. That's the, that's, jeez, that is stupid quick. That's, that's pretty darn quick, guys. That's under a minute. Uh, well under a minute. Uh, what type of hard drive is in this thing? Uh, I mean, it's a spinning hard drive, but that's a, I don't know if it's anything special. Uh, ATA. Let's look at that. Let's let's look this up here. This is a ST three four zero zero one six A. I don't think it's anything special, but um, I'm just just curious. It, it probably is not. It's probably just a standard drive, but I guess a fresh install of the OS just really makes a difference. Yeah, it's a seventy two hundred. Seagate Barracuda. So nothing too fancy. Uh, not a 10K drive, but it sure seems like it could have fooled me. But yeah, I guess that's about it. Um, I appreciate you guys just joining me, just looking through this stuff. Uh, let me see if there's anything else I got at the flea market to share. Um, oh yeah, this uh, little wireless card. Um, I got it because of a conversation on Mac Yak, actually, from our, our podcast. Um, we we're talking about, uh, I think it was Mike's PowerBook. It was a 3400. Um, or maybe it was uh, whatever PowerBook he was talking about. Uh, we, you know, he mentioned it. And we were talking about wireless cards. Because um, I watched his video he did. If you want to check that out, uh, just go on YouTube, type in Mike's Mac Shack. Uh, he has a little great uh, video on uh, connecting a PowerBook uh, using an Ethernet adapter um, and uh, connecting it to Wi Fi. Uh, this is a 802.11a slash b wireless adapter, 
but it's not a PCI MCA card. This is a card bus card. Um, it actually tells you on the back, um, PC card with an adapter. Uh, card bus is 32 bit and 3.3 volts. So I know there are some compatibility things between those two. Um, and yeah, so I got this uh, to play around with old PCs. I don't think this has any Mac drivers. A lot of these cards did not, unless it was specifically made for a Mac. But I have a lot of PC uh, MCIA, not card bus. I think there's a difference between the voltage and stuff. So uh, I picked that up. Uh, anything else that I picked up? Um, last weekend, I picked up two things. Let me just show you those because they're just sitting right here on the, on the side here. Um, this is uh, IBM's D disk operating system, DOS, version 3.35. I'm sorry, 3.30. And uh, it's kind of stuff you see on LGR. And uh, it's got some disks in here. Got some five and a quarter disks even. So... Yeah, this, this was pretty neat. This was a buck. So uh, I went to the guy's table because he had something else. And for a dollar, I figured I could use the discs, even just for the discs. Um, uh, let me put that back up here. And uh, also, there was another box of DOS. And that's this guy. This is version 6.3. I'm not a huge PC guy, but it comes with all the discs. You have your registration card. Um, here's your floppies. Um, but what I really thought was really neat about this is, first off, the price tag sticker was still on it. $59. Not bad, I guess. Um, but even more interesting to me was a little receipt inside that told me they bought this at Software, etc., at the Menlo Park Mall, which is not too, too far from where I live in New Jersey. Uh, it's a place I know well. Uh, and this was purchased on May 7th, 1994 at 3.08 p.m. And yeah, <laughs> uh, that's just amazing to me that the receipt and the shrink wrap pieces and everything was still inside of this box. So I thought that was pretty cool. Well worth it. Um, so I was, I was happy to find that. And um, let me give you a sneak peek of what will be on a video sometime soon. Let me just get the box. This is what I originally saw at the gentleman's table, which made me come over. <laughs> this is a super disk drive. Now, this is meant for a PC. It's an internal disk drive. Uh, bay, uh, meant to accompany uh, your drive bay. Uh, this is the internal version, not the USB version, um, but it is in the box. The box has been opened, but it looks like that the disk drive inside has never been used. Um, I don't think there's a blank disk in there, um, but it looks like the disk drive has not been used. So, yeah. <laughs> um, but I like this rebate sticker on here. That's pretty cool, too. And yeah, that's um, that's really what I went over to that guy's uh, table for at the flea market. And uh, he also had this. Uh, this is just a CD burner. But again, it was in the box. I don't think it was ever used. And it's just neat. Uh, 2x write speed. Um, yeah, it's an Acer CD burner. Um, all these items, the two big box items and those two software pieces, I got for five bucks together. So it was a pretty good steal. Um, I didn't haggle him or anything. That's what he wanted me to pay. That's what I paid. So yeah, I guess that's about it, guys. Unless you have any questions, I'm going to sign off here because um, it's very late. And um, yeah, that's about it. Oh, nice score with the Mac Mini, Jacob. That's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, I have some videos I'm working on. And uh, if... Uh, no questions come up in the next second or so. I'm uh, probably going to click end stream. But I appreciate you watching. It's been fun sharing this. I thought this was going to be another 733. So it was cool that this is an 800 megahertz model. So uh, I'll be playing around with this more. But uh, thank you guys for sticking around. And I have some videos coming up soon. And uh, see you guys later. Have a good night.